As an emulation, retro emulation in retro gaming channel, I thought it's just fair that I release my top five personal emulators that you need to check out here in 2024. Okay, so first up we have got Redream, and of course Redream is a very awesome Sega Dreamcast emulator. So not only is it compatible with Windows, but it's also compatible with Apple computers, Linux, and even Raspberry Pi. Now this is one awesome emulator. Now this is free. Redream contains everything you need. You can also upgrade Redream to its premium edition, where you can get additional high definition rendering improvements to make your games look extra amazing and trust me the upgrade truly is worth it now as of recording this video the actual library of dreamcast games that redream supports is around 96.14 percent so redream has been around a very long time it's a very easy interface to use to just add your games in and it doesn't even require bios files and that's why i totally recommend redream it's a very simple concise and just all around 100% brilliant emulator for emulating your Sega Dreamcast collection. Okay then, next up we have got Dolphin, and of course Dolphin is the very awesome Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii emulator. Now, this emulator has been around for years, and I've been following it throughout the years, and it just gets better and better and better. Now, for some users out there, you might find that configure controllers, especially for Nintendo Wii games, can be a little bit tricky. I've made a few setup guides in the past in actually emulating your controllers to emulate Wii Nunchuck and Wiimo is a very easy user interface to use and the game skin looks stunning and of course this emulator is absolutely free you don't need to pay anything and the best thing around this is that you don't actually need BIOS for this emulator which is Dolphin it's super simple to use and it's truly an amazing way to experience your Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii collection seriously check out this emulator it's awesome Next up, we have got Duck Station. So Duck Station is a PS1, PlayStation 1, or PSX emulator. Again, just like the previous emulator, this emulator is absolutely free. Now, with Duck Station, you will need BIOS files to get your games running. Duck Station has also had implemented Retro Achievements. Retro Achievements is going to reward you for hitting certain points in certain PS1 games. Duck Station also has the ability to upscale or rather internal resolution upscaling. It is an awesome system and a very awesome way and probably the best PlayStation 1 emulator out there on the market. Lovely interface, graphical user interface, and it's got a lot going for it. It's been around years and I totally recommend Duck Station for any PlayStation 1 fan. Okay, next up we have got the very cool Nintendo Switch emulator, which is Yuzu. Now, of course, this isn't a retro gaming emulator. I'm literally just mentioning this on this top five list because, of course, Nintendo Switch has a wealth of indie retro inspired games. Now, with Yuzu, you will need a couple of additional files in order to get your games working. Again, just like everything else so far, I've actually covered this. Now, the very cool thing with Yuzu is the ability to upscale games. And in some respects, getting your controller is a little bit problematic for some people. But once you connected your controller and you get into Yuzu Gaming, it's very cool. One thing to mention with Yuzu is that it uses a shader system. You're going to find it very glitchy on your first couple of times playing a particular game. Those shaders actually go into a little folder. And before you know it, you are playing upgraded, upscaled Nintendo Switch games. Very simplified user interface that Yuzu has, and it's another emulator which is constantly getting updates. It's a very seriously cool way to play Nintendo Switch games. 
my top favourite personal emulator is RPCS3 for many reasons. I'm a massive PlayStation 3 fan, I have been since its launch. RPCS3 also, just like Yuzu, works from a shader system. So on your first couple of games of a particular game, you're going to find that games look very laggy shader system just like yuzu now the compatibility list with rpcs3 gets better and better and it gets updates literally every day now with this emulator you're going to find out you're going to need to install firmware first which is very simple to do and you're also going to find that not a hundred percent of games in the ps3 library are supported but like i say updates constantly and more games are being supported RPCS3 also has the ability, like the other emulators in this list, in order to upscale resolution. And it truly is a remarkable piece of software. And full kudos to the developers behind Hard BCS3.